It's funny when a girl tells her story only to be told back that it's unrealistic. Almost as if they're afraid to believe it's real. For everyone who doesn't know, my mom's a bitch, my dad shot himself, my life sucks, and my brother's on a watch list. Not in that order, or, or maybe, I don't know. But last year, that combination left me at the worst, most predatory school imaginable. At least I thought it was the worst school. But then I, like, talked to other people, and it turns out it wasn't that bad. Well, no, it was that bad. It was just really standard. Other girls saying their gym teacher wanted to bang them. Their counselor texting them at 3 in the morning. I was the only one with a white nationalist photography teacher, though, so I guess that's something. But here's the problem. Mom won't listen, the principal doesn't care, and I still have all of senior year to get through. My life's just a game. A sick, hopeless game. Like, I've never really been religious, but if God is some introvert loser sitting in their computer chair, I really hope they can help me through this. Hey, you're on time. I'm already so fucking over this. All I said was hi. I wish I was hi. Do you think I'm here this early by choice? <sighs> what is it this time? I'm still awake from last night because my mom accidentally took one of my brother's Adderalls. Instead of what? I don't know, like Oxy or morphine or something? They give old people heroin pills to mellow out over gas prices. Do those pills even look the same? Anyway, so she won't shut the fuck up over how many days I missed. I'm like, Mom, if I can't go to sleep, I'm gonna miss another day. Well, wasn't she right? You're here early for the first time in forever. Oh my god, it's like I'm talking to a guy. Can't you just agree with me and say, yeah, she's a bitch? Okay, sorry, Nicole. Your mom is a bitch fucking whore. See, now I feel better. This is why we have friends. We're really white. Uh, oh, guys, what's up? Did I tell you I got an iPhone for my birthday? That's, uh, that's cool. We talked to you like once a month. Oh. Well, yeah, it's crazy, because, like, I didn't know iPhones could do this much, bro. Will it kill an Asian child, or is that just when it's being made? That's, uh... Nah, but, like, there's all these cool apps. Like, I know there's YouTube and stuff, but there's apps where you can, like, shoot guns and pop bubbles and stuff. You mean games? It, it's not even, like, games. It, it's, it's just apps. Like, there's an app for this, there's an app for that. Is there an app that'll make you fuck off and kill yourself? Um, is that, like, a choke, or are we... Just go! <laughs> uh, you guys are crazy. That alone was way too much in the morning. There's no way I'm getting through these classes. Are you gonna skip again? What choice did he just leave me? I can't see anyone like him for the rest of the day or I'm gonna go insane. Come on, let's go somewhere. I have a quiz today, Nicole. Oh, you're gonna miss your Scantron memory game? Just retake it tomorrow. <sighs> Fine. So where are we even going? E you want to watch Mythbusters? This is like a really bad date. At least we're not in school. That's a horrible comeback for that. What are you going to do when you're 25 and working at Outback Steakhouse? Well, at least we're not in school. I would never fucking work at Steakback Outhouse. That doesn't change the fact we're stuck here without gas money and your mom only pays for the basic cable package. So you don't want to watch Mythbusters? We literally just left school to avoid men who go, this is true. Why the fuck would I watch a show about them? I heard every other episode, they accidentally show you a new way to make crystal meth. Did they ever do one on cigarettes causing cancer? If cigarettes were in Star Wars, then maybe. Can I smoke in here? You can. I don't know if you should. My mom might get mad. Okay, well, you hate your mom, and your brother, and anyone else you mentioned to me, so just let me smoke in here. Holy shit, calm down. You've only been smoking for like a year. How are you addicted? Have an alternative? My mom has a bunch of old prescriptions in her medicine cabinet. You want to crush them up and see what they do to us? Wow, snorting your mom's pills. We'd be like the guy in Scarface if you ran a nursing home. This might be a stupid question, but what even is Scarface? It's like a drug dealer movie. I don't know, the ESL kids won't stop wearing shirts of it. I think they did a Mythbusters on Scarface. That sounds so awesome for a guy who wears cargo shorts. What are we doing, Nicole? And don't say sobriety. I think the pills could be a lot more fun than you're expecting. How's that? My mom has problems, dude. And she's old, so the doctor just writes her whatever she wants. What, are we gonna snort polio meds? Don't they have a vaccine for that? Not when she was born. Look, she goes to a new psychiatrist after every divorce, and they keep giving her the good shit because she doesn't move over the medical history. Oh, that's a nice strategy. 
My mom only gets the daily Prozac shit after they cut her off from Valium. She should get divorced. New health plan, new psychiatrist. My mom hasn't worked in like 20 years. I don't know if she could even function without my dad. Can't she just find a new guy? My mom does. You haven't seen my mom, Nicole. She stopped trying like 10 years ago. I don't think you can ever come back from that. Yeah, after the mom jeans, it's just over. Tragic. Thanks, now I have to think about how sad my mom is. This is why I'll never get married. This is why we should do those pills now. Come on. Why does it hit so fast when you start it? Fuck. Doesn't Vicodin always hit like that? I never tried it. No, it takes like an hour when you take it like a pill. Wow. Prescriptions are just dope on layaway. A line of it does a little at first, but then just creeps up fast. Here, try it. Oh my god, I'm scared. Is my nose gonna bleed? Only if you do it like a million times. What the fuck? How does your mom function like this? She doesn't. What if she needs these later? It's easy to get more. She can make an appointment and pay like two bucks for a whole bottle. They won't cut her off or anything? Yeah, that's the one perk to being old. If you want enough drugs to shut off your emotions, they won't assume you'll try to OD or anything. Yeah, they said that when I wanted sleeping pills. It's so bullshit. Like, even if you wanted to do that, it's like... Like... Like, none of their business shit it's really hitting now. Oh yeah, I feel it too. It's like... Percocet, but not as good. You could say that about any painkiller. You want to watch Mythbusters now? I am nowhere near fucked up enough to watch Mythbusters. We might have something left to fix that. Why the fuck do you want to watch Mythbusters so bad? Uh, I don't know. It's the only thing on when I skip. Uh, okay, give me something good. You want to try a mystery pill? I'm not even looking at the label, but I'll crush it up. Mystery pill? What if it hurts me? Dude, you're viked up. You're good. All right, fuck it. Line it up. Is it good? Oh my god, oh my god, what did I do? I don't feel anything. Really? She always has the strongest shit. What if it's just a Claritin or something? No, my mom barely has allergies. Let me read the label. Metroprolol. Generic for Betalock. Betalock? It should say what it's for, right? It says, use for high blood pressure or tightness of chest. You had me do a line of beta blocker. Oh god, it's hitting. There's a name for it? How'd you know that? A chemistry teacher told us about it last year. Miss that class. That was the last pill, too. My mom must take a lot of these. I'm like deflating in my own body. How wound up is your mom to always need these? You don't really talk about that. She just comes home and yells at me. I would yell at you, too. Why the fuck didn't you tell me it was a beta blocker? I think you're missing the point of a mystery pill. I took it with Vicodin, Nicole. Call 911. Dude, you're gonna be fine. Worst case scenario, you pass out. Why do I feel like a guy's told me that before? Ugh, chest pains. One pill left, just gotta get up these stairs. The women at Ross are so goddamn difficult. Damn, Jekka, you're out cold. Nicole, why are you home? And why is all my medicine on the floor? Oh shit, hey mom, um, we were feeling sick, so we took a bunch of your pills. I don't have time for excuses, just where's my beta lock? Beta lock, um, what do you need that for? I feel like I'm having a heart attack. Why is the bottle empty? Oh my fucking god, uh, Jekka was having a heart attack too. Oh god, everything's getting dark. Call 911! Okay, mom. Mom? Oh. What the fuck? Mom? Fuck, where's the phone? So, how was the funeral? When is expected. Meaning? My aunt pulled out a gun. Weird. That's somehow not the most shocking thing you've told me in the last week. Yeah, so there's this huge life insurance payout, all the alimony is going to me and my brother, tons of paperwork, and none of it's worth any of the hassle. Cause you can never replace her with money? No, there's a fucking trust fund and I can't touch it till I'm 35. All we get is a monthly stipend. I can't move to LA or anything. Nicole, this might be a weird question, but uh, did you cry at all after your mom died? No, but I used it to get out of some stuff. Does that count? It, you seriously need to be on something. I am. Something other than Xanax and Percocet. I have Vicodin too now. Do you really not get how sad this is, or are you just fucking with me? Can it be both? Again, like, I'm sorry it went down like that. I was passed out, and I couldn't really... It's probably a lot to handle. Yeah, no shit. That's what I mean. Shouldn't you go to a therapist or talk to someone? Is this gonna be a thing where you break down and cry for me, or are you doing this to make you feel better? 
Can it be both? I'm going to class where you headed, Nicole. I wonder what the guy from Cody Banks is doing right now. Oh, hey, Nicole. You over here, too? Oh, great. Yeah, I just, like, I couldn't even handle whatever was going on in class and stuff, and I just had to break loose from it all, you know? Like, I don't know. These teachers are just crazy sometimes. That was the longest possible way to say you're also skipping. Oh, no, like, yeah, um... Hey, I like your shirt. Okay. It looks kind of deep. Is there, like, any sort of meaning behind it? Dude, how the fuck should I know? You picked it out, I thought, you know. I go to the store, it looks nice, I buy it, and not for an artistic conversation with someone dressed like a bad religion fan. Oh, well, hold up. I'm not really, like, a bad religion fan. I only like maybe, like, four of their albums. I'm real happy for you. Yeah, but, I mean, it's cool that you know about them. You like a lot of rock? That was the most weekend dad question you could have possibly asked me. What's that mean, exactly? What's going on out here? Torture. Oh, hey, Megan, what's up? I'm just on my way back from the bathroom. Oh, yeah, cool. I like your shirt, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah. No, it's, like, mega fucking cool. Is there, like, a thing with it? Like, a story? Actually, there kind of is. It's, um, well, I don't want to waste your time. No, no, I, I got time. I'm hanging out. Dumb fucking bitch. So it was custom made, and it was basically a whole story on my journey with, like, finding myself. They should make a game show where a guy eats everything in a vending machine. Aww. And if he loses, he's gotta, like, take his shirt off at the pool or something. I'm so dead. Then there's a bunch of hot girls in the pool laughing at his imperfections. I can't. What do I do? Okay, Ari, what is it? Wait, what? I didn't- Bitch, do not play this game with me. What game? I was just sitting here talking- Shut the fuck up. What is it? Okay, well, I'm supposed to be in physics right now, but there's this project due, and I have literally nothing. Yeah, so... Wait, this doesn't make sense. What doesn't? If you cared about the class this much, wouldn't you have done at least some of it? It's not the grade. The teacher's just gonna, like, yell at me in front of everybody. They do it because they care. Not because they're paid shitty and weren't smart enough to work at a university. You think their salary determines how smart they are? Isn't it just a number on paper? They think our grades determine how smart we are. Let's see how the fuck they like it. Okay, but that doesn't solve my problem. I've been here for the last 10 minutes and I can't think of any good excuse. Is it like a two-day project or a three-week project? Closer to three weeks. Huh, what's a problem that lasts more than three weeks? Could you pass for pregnant? I hope not. What works for me usually is saying I have depression, but you can't use that. Why not? Because I use that. If too many kids start saying it, it won't work anymore. All right, I'm just gonna go to class and get yelled at. This sucks. Or you could drop out and live in a methadone clinic. How would I pitch a game show to Spike TV? You there, hold it! Here we go. Wait. Oh, how could you run this fast? Don't make me call security! Hey, you dropped something. Whoa! That is a shit ton of cocaine. I wonder if it's real. You just wait till I call your parents. Shit, she's coming back. Nicole? Hey, Miss Lynn. Rough day at work? What's going on with Braxton? None of your business. Why aren't you in class? Oh, uh, I was just on my way to the bathroom. You came all the way out to the main foyer on the way to the bathroom? What, do we need bathroom GPS now? Tell me what class you're in right now. Civics? It's okay, I'm going now. Don't worry. I'll walk with you. No, that's okay. You don't have to. I insist. Wow, you can ask me out after? On a date? Why would I do that? Wait, you're not a guy teacher. Sorry, let's go. And as I hope you remembered, today is the final day for submitting your community service sponsor. If you don't get those hours in, you cannot graduate. Oh my god. Nicole, so nice of you to join us. I tell you to kill yourself in your garage, but you probably only have a two-bedroom condo with your pets. <laughs> I'll pretend I didn't hear that. I trust the rest of you will be taking the community service hours seriously? I guess. You guess? Kelly, who's your sponsor? I'm volunteering for the county police department. Wow, that's lame. Something you'd like to add, Nicole? Yeah, why would you help the people who screw us over with speeding tickets? The office is really close to my house. I don't have to drive or anything. So you're gonna fuck the rest of us over just so you can save on gas money? What did I say about the F word in this class? Sorry, bitch. Are we just supposed to drive as fast as we want? The police are here to keep us safe. Is that why I take it's $200? They're keeping my safe. Holy shit. Huh. 
Funny that a girl so critical of our legal system is failing civics. Funny how you teach the most expensive car you could ever afford. <laughs> All right, Nicole. If you're so in tune with the needs of the people, how about your cause? My what? Your cause? Your sponsor for the community service hours? You had two weeks to set something up. Now tell me with who? About that. See, um, I've sort of been going through a lot right now. Of course. Let's hear it. Let's hear another marvelous excuse from Nicole. I've been diagnosed with clinical depression, so I haven't really gotten out of bed much lately. Depression? Yeah. It's from all the PTSD and some other letters. It's that bad? You couldn't at least think of a community service sponsor? Well, I tried a couple times, but when I did, I just started cutting myself. <gasps> Why? Um, because I'm a burden on everyone around me, and the community would be better off if I was dead. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. That's really not good. Oh, no. A am I bringing the mood down? Sorry. If anyone has a gun I could borrow, I could just take care of myself now. A gun? Shit, I left mine at home today. Oh my god, do you need someone to talk to? No, I don't want to bother anybody. Unless it's for a gun I can use to blow my worthless fucking brains out. Oh, no, wait. Okay, Nicole, this is not for the classroom. I think you need to go to the counselor's office. But don't I need a community service sponsor? We can worry about that later. Just go to the counselor. Okay. And you're sure you don't want me to kill myself? Because I will if you want me to. I'll fire it right in my mouth. My nose will bleed like the Chocolate River from Willy Wonka. No, please don't kill yourself. Right, Mr. Cat? Well... What the fuck? No, no, we don't want you to kill yourself. Just go. Hose. Oh, Nicole, come in. Your civics teacher told me you'd be visiting. Have a seat. Sure, but I thought these were one-on-one -on -one sessions. What's she doing here? Normally they are. However, I thought I'd try something different, given you're both here for the same reason. What reason? Depression. You bitch! Nicole, I understand you're going through a lot right now, but that's no excuse for lashing out at Ari. Sorry, won't happen again. Not like she did anything to deserve it, right? Ari, using an I statement, please tell Nicole how that made you feel. This'll be good. Um, I feel like you might not be considering my own situation, too. That's very good. Thank you. Now, Nicole, please respond using your own I feel statement. Go ahead. Ari, I feel you're a conniving fucking bitch. How's that? This is going to be a long session. Nicole, wait. What? Need another excuse to steal? No. Well, no, it's just... What if I wasn't making it up? Making what up? At first I went to class thinking I'd lie about the depression, but after talking to the counselor, I'm starting to realize there's something I actually am depressed about. Okay, cool. Talk to him about it. I can't. All right, fine. Fuck off then. Bye. Wait! What is it? It's something about me. Something I really can't let him know or he'll tell my parents. What are you, gay? What? How did you know? I've never told anyone that. Dude, look at your hair dye. You're either gay or colorblind. But are you... okay with that? I mean, I wouldn't use that color, but do what you want. Not that. I meant... the other thing? Are we in Nebraska now? No one cares if you're gay anymore. Are you sure? This is the most 80s conversation I've ever had. But my cousin in West Virginia's gay. He says it's horrible. It's West Virginia. What the fuck isn't horrible there? So, around here, you really think no one will care if I'm gay? Maybe like a weirdo or two, but everybody's gonna be like, look at that asshole. We're in a white-ass high school ten minutes from the Capitol. This is such a non-issue now. But gay marriage isn't legal here. Were you looking to get married? I don't know if I'd ever want to get married. So why do you care? And by the time you do, it'll probably be legal anyway. I'm not that optimistic when it comes to our government. Ari, you're white. You could be triple gay and the government's still gonna worry about you. You really think so? Oh, hey, Nicole, you still hanging around out here? Did I tell you that's a cool shirt, by the way? Look, hey, Crispin, you want to hear something about Ari? Oh my god, don't! Ari's gay. She's gay? Yeah, like lesbian gay. Oh, that's cool. 
Is, is there like another part to the story or? Go down to the cafeteria, you'll find it there. Oh, it's like a mystery. That's pretty cool, you're so creative inside. All this time I thought this would be the end of my life. If you lived in Texas it would be, but this is civilization, dude. Well, I'll see you around somewhere. And thanks a lot, Nicole. I feel kinda free for once. Fuck off, bitch, you still stole my excuse. Now I have to think of a new one. You didn't start depression, Nicole. I never said that, but I started using depression as an excuse at that school. No one was doing that before me, and now that she took it, everybody's gonna water it down. Do you feel like you're getting to a point where the excuses for not doing homework are more effort than the homework itself? I don't know, hold on. What's another mental disorder I could pull off? Quite a few. Yeah, but whatever I pick, I'll need to research at least a little, right? No, you don't. Mental illnesses are like horoscopes. You just look up symptoms that loosely fit your personality. Holy shit, where's my laptop? Oh, wait! Schizophrenia, good choice. No, I forgot to tell you what happened after the counselor. Ari came out of the closet to me in the middle of the hallway. Closet with a glass door? I thought everyone knew that. Yeah, that's what I said. She thought it was like this huge deal. Well, wouldn't it be? What if someone homophobic knew? Yeah, who? I don't know anyone at our school who wouldn't vote for Obama. Holy shit, I can't think of anyone either. This area is like so Democrat, you're just preaching to the choir. Yeah, no, last year this gay guy sat at our table and was immediately the most popular person there. Because he was gay or? I mean, kinda. He quoted Amanda's show a lot, I guess he was funny. And no one gave him shit or anything? I mean, Kyler came up to us, but everyone was like, what's his problem? That's exactly what I told her. Well, as long as she's happy, like, whatever, right? I'm so happy for her. So happy I have to see her ass every week with the counselor now. And I wanted to say, Ari, how proud I am that you've been able to come to terms with your sexual orientation and openly share it with the rest of your peers. Thanks, it's just kind of liberating to tell someone I'm gay, you know? Every chance you get. Truthfully, you are so brave. Liberal high school, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Everyone's been so supportive. I can't believe there was a time when being gay was so hated. You believed it last week. Yes, yes. Times have certainly changed. Isn't this supposed to be a group therapy? Is there something you'd like to add, Nicole? Just thought it'd be worth the time to spotlight the progress we've made as a society. Though we still have a very long way to go in terms of sexual identity and acceptance. What's left to accept? Transsexuals, for one. But also the rather silly notion of controlling other petty qualities of our partners beyond gender. Financial background, race, religion, and even age. Here we fucking go. Age? Why would someone have a problem with age if they're legal? But isn't that the problem? Letting legality control love? The state law says you can't marry another girl, but does that mean it's wrong for you to love her? No, but I'm pretty sure age is one we, you know... Society creates laws, but laws didn't create society. I hope both of you girls realize we should never be critical of anyone's preference regardless of what your parents or TV says. Like gender, age is just another thing on your driver's license. Um, how do you feel about that, Nicole? Do you have an I feel statement? I feel like he wants to fuck children. Yeah, but that's not true, right, Counselor? Like, you wouldn't date a 15-year-old, right? Would you date a 15-year-old? Maybe, but I'm only 17, so it's not illegal? I just said, going by legality means you'd be in the wrong, too. Did you say in the wrong, too? As in you would date a 15-year-old? I never said that. I'm merely open-minded enough to not doubt the romantic value of anyone of any age. You're trying to sell a teenage girl on pedophilia using her own gayness as leverage. What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh my god. Fuck your therapy, tennis pedophile love 15 looking bitch. Let her go, Ari. She's just having a personal moment and needs her space. Uh, okay. By the way, I didn't want to make Nicole jealous, but your hair looks absolutely beautiful today. Actually, I'm gonna go check on her to make sure she doesn't, uh, kill herself. Nicole, wait. Wasn't walking. That wasn't, like, a normal thing, was it? No, him campaigning for that is a pretty normal thing around here. You didn't know? Not that. I meant you sticking up for someone like that. I never really seen you do that. Sticking up for who? Me. Okay. I... I 
really appreciate it. Uh huh. This is, um, oh my god, this is so fucking stupid. Kinda is. Nicole, I've, um, since we started doing this group counseling together, I've actually kind of been thinking a lot about you. But not in a weird way, right? No, it's, it's in a weird way. Oh my god. I really, really like you. I'm sorry. It's just, you were the first person I came out to, and what you said in there, and your whole look, and I think I'm in love with you. In love with someone you know for two weeks. Yeah, you're real stable. You're not, like, all sketched out now, are you? A little, but it's not like you're a man saying this. How is it different with a man? Men kind of have a tendency to rape and murder. I'm not sure if you've seen a TV in the last forever. Oh god, that reminds me. I never even asked you. Ask me what? You, um, do you like girls too? Do you want me to? Y yeah How badly? Extremely. No pressure, but I might cut if you say no. Where do you cut? On my upper thigh, so my parents don't see. Damn, that's actually kind of hot. It, it is? Yeah, because you look too normal to cut, so it's like a fun surprise. Are you messing with me? No, seriously. It's like a cheerleader with a nipple piercing. Ooh, wild side. Really? Do you cut too? Duh, but it's not hot when I do it. It's like, look at that trashy hoe. I bet she cuts herself. I don't think you're trashy. I don't think I should have an F in gym. Shit happens, though. So, if you think I am hot, would you want to start dating? Uh, yeah, I guess I'll try it. <gasps> really? It'd be really funny if I said no right now. Please don't do that to me. No, okay, I'll do it. You have a car to take us out? Yeah, my mom's old Camry, and only three of the windows are broken. Does it have power seats? No, they're just manual. Ugh. <sighs> Oh, but I could borrow my dad's Lexus if it makes a difference. It makes a difference. Okay, I'll see you after school. I love you. Bye. Why'd you take me to a bookstore? It's like the library, but all the books are new. Do I look like a bitch who reads? Not even Harry Potter? It's like coming of age relatable and stuff. There's no Percocet in Harry Potter. How's it relatable? Hey, Nicole. Didn't know you read here, too. We had to stop in the graphic novel section. Do you know him? Not really, but I'll take care of it. So, are you reading some manga with your friend there? Oh, she's not my friend. She's my girlfriend. Girlfriend? But you're... Hold on. Do you have a problem with two lesbians going to a bookstore as opposed to literally anything else? Th though, it's good to be yourself. You guys are just a little different, like me. We are nothing like you. And why's that? Because while you're beating off to your little anime book, we're going to get fucked up on whippets and make out. Hey, that was completely uncalled for. Wow, don't freak out when someone makes up a joke about you. It'll make people think it's real. But I have done that to my manga. She shouldn't act like it's wrong, though. Oh, God. Shouldn't have helped him. I've seen him around before. I didn't know he was fucked up like that. By the way, I started a YouTube channel. Y you guys want to see it? No, we gotta go by Whippets. I never tried Whippets. Do they taste bad? And then the counselor got so weird, he called my mom and told her I might have schizophrenia if I ever mentioned he was a pedophile. And what'd your mom say? She believed him. We had like an hour-long fight over it. Right, honey? Right, honey? Dude, I said don't call me that in public. Oh, I thought it was don't say it in private. If I didn't want it in private, why would I want it in public? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm still getting used to your boundaries and everything. Boundaries? I didn't know you're dating a marriage counselor. What's up, queers? Nicole. Dude, she's not gonna do anything. Heard you guys were dating now. What are you, special or something? Why do you care? Tired of hoes like you always looking for attention. Find one other person in this room who cares. No one's falling for this bullshit like you think they are. Hey, Hunter. What's up? They're saying they're gay now. That's fucking dumb, right? Uh, Obama might be president soon. Who's worried about being gay anymore? Dude, fuck Obama. He's a bitch. My dad's voting for McCain. Why would he vote for McCain? He's a fucking war hero. Maybe then we'll nut up and nuke the Middle East. Oh. Well, sorry, dude, but your dad sounds really fucking gay voting for McCain. What? No, no, you're gay! Eventful. Thanks for taking care of that, Nicole. No problem. Hey, could you go to the longest pizza line and get me four slices? Yeah, sure, anything. Okay. Why aren't you going? You won't kiss me on the cheek first? Oh my god. 
<sighs> okay, I'll be right back. Ugh, disgusting. What, are you straight again? No, I have dollar store foundation on my lips now. Ugh, this could double as baby formula in Pakistan. She's your girlfriend. So? So take your bitch to Ulta. No, already trying to limit the exposure. That's why I sent her to the pizza line. But you haven't even dated for a week yet. Fucked up, right? Did she do something wrong? She just gets really awkward when you're around her for long enough. Awkward how? Okay, so she was in my room while I was changing real quick. Then she saw one nipple for like a second and was all, Oh my god, I'm sorry I look, but you're so sexy, you're so sexy, I'm so lucky to have you. Like, bitch, fuck off. I've seen her with guys before, I don't know why she's acting like such a virgin. She's probably just a virgin with girls, it's like a higher echelon. But if she's so gay, why was she even with guys in the first place? Cause hooking up with a guy is the easiest thing on earth. Even if a girl's gay, she's gonna try it at least once or nine times. Wait, so first time you're curious, second time you're bored, and ninth time you're just trying to keep the lights on. And I just want to see how cool it is that you guys are so open about this. Right? Yeah. I kissed a girl at a party once, and I totally get the appeal. Lesbianism is just so, so bold. Have you thought about, like, going full time with it? You mean, like, gay married? Yeah. Fuck that. Then I wouldn't have a rich husband. Isn't there more to a relationship than money, though? Maybe. I see you guys ride around in that beat-up Camry, and it's cute. But I'd never cuff a broke bitch. Can you believe her? Yeah, these by curious hoes, fuck them. By the way, did you wanna- Hold on, I'm replying to something. Okay. Are you done? No, shut up, hold on. Nicole, I, I don't really like it when you tell me to shut Just up. Just fuck up, okay? Maybe quit the box diet, it's fucking your brain up. <gasps> oh, shit. I, um... Hey, listen, uh... I'm really sorry for not respecting your boundaries. I promise it won't happen again. Oh. What? I was totally in the wrong. You had every right to say that. Well, as long as you're sorry, you dumb bitch. I know I'm a dumb bitch. I'm sorry. I love you. I think I'm starting to love you too. You guys see the new Smallville? Dude, Smallville's for straight people. Who watches that shit? You were straight three weeks ago. Yeah, and I didn't watch it then either. Guess it's just universally bad. I saw a couple episodes once. It was okay. Was anyone asking you? Um, no. Just checking. Anyway, I was gonna buy lunch today, but the lines are like so long. It's probably spicy chicken sandwich day. Oh, and I want one. Me too. Ari, get us the chicken sandwiches. I'll pay you back. But the line's gonna take forever. Can we just- Don't you love me? <sighs> okay, I'll go. Cool. Yeah, and get me two if they have enough. They're big. You gonna eat two? One for now, one for when I'm depressed. All right, you got all that? Be right back. You're forgetting something. Oh, right. Sorry. Mwah. Good girl. Don't make me ask again. I know. I love you. That's nice. What the fuck? I know. What's her problem, right? No, what the fuck did you do to her? She's like your pet now. Yeah, so you know how I wanted out of the relationship? What I thought would be more fun than breaking up was just seeing what I could get away with. Get away with what? Dude, like everything so far. I'll literally call her a bitch to her face and she'll just apologize and kiss me on the cheek. It's such a power trip. Uh, it sounds like abuse. I get that. But honestly, if it is, abusing feels fucking awesome. Don't knock it till you try it. Yeah, but you know why you're getting away with it, right? Oh, let's hear this. Because you're her only option. So you're taking advantage of the fact the only lesbian in school knows there aren't any other lesbians to date here. She's basically stuck with whatever you want to put her through. She can break up anytime she wants. She's not stuck with anything. Okay, so she breaks up to move on to who? The only girl willing to date her is her abusive ex-girlfriend. And? No offense, but you're like an evil fucking bitch. No, okay. If you're so high and mighty about it, why don't you tell her everything you just told me? The dynamic, the game, everything. I don't know her like that. Awkward, ew. If only life was like TV, where friends spill their hearts out to people they barely know. You probably don't even watch anything good. You watch Smallville. You're evil. You're friends with someone who's evil. You're friends with someone who watches Smallville. Holy shit, don't say it that loud. Again, I apologize for the misunderstanding we had last time the two of you came in here. I would never want to be mistaken for an abuser. I can assure you that. Uh-huh. Abuser? Yes, anyway. Nicole! It's been a while since we've chatted. What's going on with you? What's going on with me? Yes, if you'd care to share with us. What the hell do I say to that? A variety of things. 
You could speak about what you did over the weekend or something that's caught your interest lately. Ari and I are here to listen. Okay, well, I heard Kanye West just got out of jail. Really? Tell me more. Um, he was in jail and then he wasn't in jail. So why was he in jail in the first place? He broke somebody's camera and now his new album's delayed or something. A new album? Do you think it'll be as good as his last album? No. Why are you pretending like you know what I'm talking about? I'm not pretending. Just having a conversation. Uh, name one Kanye West song. Um, I can't think of any off the top of my head. What are some of your favorites? Dude, you're so fucking gay. Nicole, you know that word isn't welcome on this campus. I'm gay now. I can say it. The F word. But the homophobic one's fine then. Well, out of respect to Ari here, I wouldn't say that's fine either. Ari, how does that make you feel? Well, actually, I actually wanted to ask something. When you said we mistook you for an abuser. Yes, go on. Like, how? Y you weren't violent or anything. I don't get it. Abuse can come in many forms. Not just violence or physical assault. It could be psychological, emotional, financial, anything that asserts control over another person. Like how you want to molest kids? I think they call it sexual abuse. Nicole, what did I say? Something about fucking kids? That's it! This session is over! I'm sorry, but you'll both have to come back at a later time when you learn how to behave yourselves. But I didn't- Out! Finally, fuck. He's like the guy in every sitcom's pedophile episode. Every sitcom has a pedophile episode? Yeah, where the kids learn a lesson or whatever. Oh, yeah. Nicole? What? Could I ask you something? No, sorry, I don't have any more kisses today. The kiss factory's closed. Somebody died. No, it wasn't about that. It was, uh... Why are you dating me? Why am I dating you? Why am I doing anything? I don't know. It's just, I was thinking about what the counselor said in there. Dude, your shirt isn't see-through. He's just a pervert. Well, no, that's a way bigger problem, but I'm just talking about us right now. What about us? I'm just thinking, like, what we've been for the last couple weeks. You mean awesome? Maybe awesome for you, which is good, but what he said about how abuse works, it... It made me worried. So I'm abusing you? Uh, I don't know. If you do, I don't think you mean to. When have I ever hit you or anything? You haven't, but the emotional abuse and how it controls... You're really putting weight into what the fuck he says? He's a counselor. He knows about this stuff. I'm your girlfriend. I pay for your five guys. He wants to put his dick in a child. How am I getting outclassed here? No, I always have to pay when we go to five guys. Okay, well, your dad drives a Lexus. Don't worry about it. But I'm just saying, like, how are you going to let our freak fucking counselor put all these ideas in your head? Nicole, I've had these ideas for a while. All he did was give me the words to tell you. Tell me what? I don't think we should see each other anymore. So, I'm losing my girlfriend because of the pedophile counselor? I'm sorry, Nicole. I got dumped before the counselor got reported. Well, I'm gonna go home and kill myself. Is dust off the same high as whippets? I never tried dust off. Really? Why is that surprising? You've tried everything else when a guy offers. Why would I flirt with a guy to get a free hit of dust off? You can get the whole thing at a store for like three dollars. Only three dollars? Yeah, have you ever gone to a Staples? Oh, Staples? What, are you too high school musical to walk into a Staples now? No, every time I go in the one near school, the manager always flirts with me. He's like, let's find you a new computer, sweetie. What if he just wants to sell you a new computer? With his hand on my ass? Okay, a little late on that detail. You don't complain when the guy at Paxson does it. Because the guy at Paxson can get me something I actually want? I'm not going to make out with a manager for a free pencil case. Are you saying you made out with the guy at Paxson? You're gay, right? Don't ask, don't tell, bitch. Not gay anymore. Oh my god, I forgot. Sorry, I wasn't thinking. No, it's okay. I'm over it. Are you sure? Didn't you, like, try killing yourself over it? Honestly, not really. Like, I got in the tub, caught a little, when the water was really nice and warm, and... I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. I get that. Oh shit, she's coming over here. What? Why? Hey, Nicole. Hi? I just wanted to talk a little again, see how you were doing. You haven't showed up to the group depression counseling in a while. Yeah, I sort of quit that. 
I figured it would be awkward and everything. Kind of like this. Sorry, I know. I just worry a lot. Uh, are you trying to get back together again? I don't get it. Yeah, uh, that's not exactly an option for me anymore. Hey, Ari, what's going on? Oh, nothing. I was just wrapping up here. Who's this? Oh, yeah, um, Nicole, this is my boyfriend, Hunter. We've been dating for a couple weeks now. Hey. What the fuck? Is something wrong? Oh, uh, I was just thinking about Staples. The store? Long story. Ari, I gotta get back, but your tray is at the table for you. Aw, you're so sweet. Thank you, Snookums. Who the fuck says Snookums? What was that? Oh, sorry. What I said was, I thought you were gay. Okay, I knew we'd have to talk about this eventually. Are you bisexual now? Honestly, no. What the fuck? Are you thinking about Staples again? No, like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, how can you have a boyfriend if you're not bisexual? The truth is, I still love everything about girls. I love how they talk, how they laugh, how they use moisturizer, how they do makeup. I love how girls do their hair, how they smell nice, how they don't wear the same thing every day. And I really love how they hold your hand and how it feels when they kiss you back. Dating you helped me find the words for that, Nicole. Then you're dating a guy because... Because, like... Even though I feel that way, I have to be honest with myself. Girls are kind of high maintenance. Girls play mind games I can't figure out. And so the month we had together made me realize something else. Realize what? I realize that guys turn me off, but girls make me want to fucking kill myself. You bullied a gay girl into being straight. She's not straight now, she's just gonna be miserable for the rest of her life. Big difference. Are you seriously not getting how bad this is? How bad what is? You bullying a gay girl into being straight? I didn't bully her. I was just abusive while dating her. What's the difference? One's homophobic, the other's just regular bad. So you get how bad this is then? Bitch, you watch Smallville. Do you get how bad that is? That's not gonna work this time, Nicole. What the fuck is this? Why do you even care? Whatever. Whatever what? Are we not friends anymore? Well, I wouldn't want you as an enemy, holy shit. No, explain to me how this is any more awful than anything I usually do. Cause usually you do it to men? I'm like, was that overboard? And you always say, he'll end up a rapist or pedophile anyway. But she's a teenage girl, Nicole. She is a gay, codependent teenage girl, as if it wasn't hard enough. What's your excuse this time? That bitch stole my depression idea. Fuck her. You should have said nothing. You ever feel guilty for just wondering if you should feel guilty? She poured her heart out again and again over how she felt about me, but it's like, isn't she better off? Like, I told her it's hot she cuts herself, and I wasn't lying, but am I really the one here? Going by Jekka's bitch morality, abusing her was a good thing. Figured it out sooner than later, right? But then you gotta ask, would you rather be alone or have a hot, twisted bitch who demeans you in public but gives amazing head? These are the real questions that plague society. I wonder if it's like that for the other physically bisexual, mentally gay girls. Talking with straight guys must be so fucking weird for them. They're both worried about what girls are thinking. Both go into depressive fits when a girl won't text them back. They experience the same dating dynamics, and yet they will never bond over it. Because the guy will say, well, if you're sad and lonely, I'm here. And she'll go, I'm actually more gay than bi. And then he's like, all right, bitch, fuck you then. Guess you don't know how it feels. I'm not saying I've seen it, but it's totally possible. Did I have a moral with this? Fuck. 